Right, are we live? Man, got caught troubleshooting. Are we live? Everyone live? Good evening, good evening. Saudi's Asia, good evening. Are we on? Are we on right now? Hello to my little brother, Carl. Carl Skid Broski in the house. The real Shaggy underscore. What's up, brother? Senorita JDL. Here we go, here we go. Good evening, Saturday again. We are stuck. This Saturday, ladies and gentlemen. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Hello, thank you for joining tonight. Welcome to Ashak DWOG Live. And there you go, my tag amigo is right below. Hello, brother. Can you hear me? I got you. I got the link. I got the link right there. You got right. the link right there. Let me let me pin that comment. Let me pin that comment. Hello, Harry underscore Ray, brother. Thank you. Long time. Uh, Harry what? underscore, rather. What do you say? Oh, you're just saying hi to the people. Hello, everyone. Ziggy ones. Shave at the real Shanky underscore. Yes, I did. Man, I look like. Uh, <laughs> I think he was talking to me. Are you? Too? I think he was talking to me. Uh, I think yeah, he was man. To me. I shaved too, man. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, I, I like. All right, we both thought of shaving today, yeah. but yes, everyone. Uh, good evening. Thank you for coming on to hashtag PWG Live. It is, sh is it a show where two Philippine wrestlers are just trying to pass the time during this coronavirus pandemic, and then we're having many different personalities come on and tell stories, have fun. For everyone watching right now and Ken what's up how was your day I am as busy as always and I'm just thankful you know what uh, share real quick I my, my allergies are just acting up I don't want to show it's too graphic on IG live, <laughs> when that, I IG live but it's just acting up uh, in, in my uh, inner elbow doesn't does not make sense here <laughs> here here and yeah. Yeah. Uh, behind my knee so it's just really bad, bro. I've been holding off on the workouts because when I sweat, it's itchy and it's really, it stings. So, <laughs> yeah, man, holding off on that. How Is about you, brother? Uh, well, today was a pretty sad day. Um, oh, yeah. Well, this week has been pretty sad for the wrestling community. Earlier in the week, we lost Chad Gaspard, who was best known for his time during prime time. And earlier today, we sadly lost Hannah Kimura from Stardom. Uh yeah, it's 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 been pretty bad recently. It's just just a pretty bad day. Like the the weather is kind of like following the mood right now. But you know, um, the best that we can do is to keep them in our prayers and to keep doing what we're doing because we are here to make everyone happy. Try to make everyone happy as much happy as we can. And I know MJ, like MJ Lapo saying, I can't do no more funerals, bros. So every like no one can, especially in the pandemic, especially with what's happening now. The worst thing, or like the we we really don't want people. We don't want to lose people, but sadly, like that's how life works. Uh, and I just like to think that right now, both of them are in better places, and hopefully, uh, wherever they are, they're happy. Absolutely, and what 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 better way to celebrate their career, but just to look look uh look forward and just pay tribute to them for all the hard work they've done in the wrestling business in the indie scene or in yeah. the mainstream and and i I was actually watching the other day the d x and the crime time segment for shad like yeah. you know, I, I choose to like there are there are people like me who chooses to just be optimistic and just celebrate yeah. the people that uh have yeah. um unfortunately passed um out of nowhere. But, yeah. yeah, like, I, I agree with you, too. Like, we can feel sad for now, but, like, later on, like, once we move on, that's when we, like, just remember them for all the good times, all the happy times that they made us. Like, especially with, like, Shad make, and Hannah, like, giving us really happy moments in our life, in our resting lives. And that's really the best that we can do, honestly. Like, and just try to live on with the, their memories within our hearts. Yeah. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. We have Casey Montero coming up. I'm sorry for like the somber mood, no guys. No problem. No problem. It's, but... it's good to pay tri again. Pay respects to them for uh, yeah. for everything they've done. You know. But yes, right now we have coming up uh, Casey Montero, and then later on tonight at 9 p.m. We're not stopping. Like today is a full day. We have Bibo Reyes, last seen as Hector from Anghuling El Bimbo. So yeah, it's an exciting night. It's a very exciting night, and I can't wait to get to it. Casey Montero has joined us, and with that, I shall leave you, Ken, and I will do the moderating. Have a good show, brother. Thank you, brother. See you later. All righty. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, our very, very special guest for tonight uh, 
hashtag PWOG Live, at least on my end. Uh, MTV VJ, all around, all around celebrity host, uh, film representative of a lot here in the Philippines. And man, I, I am lost for words because we finally have him on the program. Without further ado, please welcome the one, the only, Casey Montero. And three, uh, two, uh, one. I'm just waiting for the connection right over there. Hey. Hello, sir. Good evening. How's it going? I'm good, sir. How about you? I'm good. Phil Am, representative of a lot. <laughs> My apologies. <laughs> I tried, man. I tried to improv this early. Yeah. Iterate. So I was like, uh, representative of a lot. Yeah, I guess that works. It's not wrong. <laughs> no, but it is true, right? You did represent yeah. us in a lot. Just uh, MTV in technicality and Survivor as well. And just a lot of programs, man. Fox. I think Fox uh, during the, uh, you know? yeah, the Philam invasion, there's only a couple that's kind of really stuck around. It's me and my brother because we just haven't, we don't have anywhere else to go. <laughs> so and no, I believe, I believe that's a choice. I believe that's a choice. Well, you, you do so much in one place and then you're kind of, uh, I wouldn't say stuck, but you have uh, established roots. So it's hard to pick up and go somewhere else and start over. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, but Man, you know what? How, long have you been, how long have you been growing your hair? <laughs> uh, believe it or not, it's, uh, it took me a year and a half, and it started from a mohawk. Why it's Odin, one year and a half. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, one I, year I love and it, half. Vin you know? uh, Diesel, Vin Diesel, and, you know. Vin Diesel, Vin Diesel ng Pilipinas. Vin, Vin. <laughs> or Cesaro. Or Cesaro. Yes, yes, yes. You know, when I, when I wrestled, everybody was calling me him, that guy. And I was like, I don't know who you're talking about. And then I met him. Yes. <laughs> and then I had a photo. I was like, I put that. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> well, actually, we were about to get there later, later on the segment. Okay, but okay, then, okay. Uh, before, before we forget, um, just like to, uh, anyone we encountered during the pandemic, Casey, how are you, man? I'm good. Uh, saying hi to Red Hot MD. So Red Hot MD says that she misses me at these Abbott doctors conventions. You know what? We've been do I've been doing a lot of Abbott hosting online um, since this pandemic has hit. So at least that business has decided to adapt to the times and uh, given me something to do because for a host um, and even for for someone like you who perform in front of um, audiences events, they're not happening. So uh, we need to figure something out. But luckily, I also have Kumu, which is uh, crushing it say to, you know, it's it's doing quite well so um i mean this Very is humble. gonna sound kind Very of humble. bad but uh this pandemic has helped us a little bit <laughs> because everybody's at home so everyone has had a chance to use kumu for the first time and they've stuck around so it, kumu if you guys don't know is a live stream app um and people are a lot of people are on it we got over four million downloads we're the biggest um filipino social network in the world I believe. And yeah, we got millions of people on there and there's a lot of people making money, like people make money live streaming. So it's a, it's a whole funny little thing we got going on. Absolutely. And I actually downloaded it myself. I tried it, man. But like, I don't know, actually a good question for everyone who's wondering or you know, who's curious about Kumu, Kumu Philippines. Um, so, so for example, like someone like me, I just made an account and how do I really start? Do I just play the games just like Quiz Quizmoco or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's, there's. It depends on what you want to do, right? So there's, there's games like uh, yesterday we gave out fifty thousand pesos on Quizmoco. In Quizmoco, you've you've seen these games before. It's like confetti. It's like Pedro. It's like HQ, uh, where we ask a bunch of questions and then we split the money up amongst all the winners. So yesterday, I think. 1500 people won so it was like 30 pesos but imagine if you play that every single day there's what four games a day you play that every month and then we have a hundred thousand pesos next week i think last time we did a hundred thousand pesos they won 450 pesos each which is pretty damn good right and especially i mean 400 pesos is good for a one-time shot now imagine if you do this over and over every every single day so you can do that you can do things like uh, you can watch a live stream, like like everyone here right now. 
uh, everybody who's watching, you can do that as well on a live stream. This is basically what we're doing right now, right? Yes. So we are doing what we can do in Kumu. But what's different is we see all of the people that are commenting, um, that are liking or that are sending hearts and whatnot. In Kumu, you can send a virtual gift. Now, a virtual gift is money. So yeah. like, let's say... Uh, PWR, let's say you guys have an account and then all of a sudden, you, let's say we make like a, a little wrestler as a virtual gift, right? Um, someone sends that. We have Taho, they're like one peso, like you, you just send it. And then so the person, let's say if you're, you're the one doing the stream or I'm doing the stream, then at the end of the day, you can say, oh, I made, you know, 50 pesos for an hour stream. So it depends because people can really connect and engage and talk and, and I guess become friends on Kumu. And that's why they support each other through the virtual gifts. It's weird. I never thought that I would be a gifter until I started gifting people. And because for me, I'm like, why, why would, why, why would I gift that person? And then I gifted someone and they said, Oh my God, thank you so much for the gift. And I was like, oh, they said my name. And then someone else came in and they gifted that person more than I gifted. And I was like, wait a minute. This is my, this is my gifting person. So I had to fight that guy to gift more. So it's, it's fun. It's fun. It's, uh, it's really different. Love said that she has started using Kumu and she's uh, live streaming. And you know what? Not like everybody, you know, can, can make money on there. It's, it's hard to do, but what we do is we establish real connections. So people really actually just talk and have fun and there's like we have these things called families so we have 60 <laughs> families like over 60 families but on guilds like they're just uh like the let's say pwr family or the casey montero family or the like north side family they're they're like 60 people inside this team and then they all and, and they represent different places of the philippines and different groups and whatnot and they they throw their money behind different campaigns. So there's a sense of pride as well in these families. So it's, it's really interesting to see what, what uh, a million people will do. You just kind of watch them and like, they just create little things and it's pretty exciting. Absolutely. And actually a follow up question, uh, a fan question actually from at the geeky once, does Kumu have any plans to have a desktop app or to make video game streams? Actually, we um, are already testing. We're already testing RTEMP. So if you've noticed, sometimes I go on Kumu and I'm, I'm, I'm testing a lot of stuff. Like you'll see there's all kinds of tech stuff happening in my streams that no one else can do. It's because we're beta testing things. So a desktop version is um, in the works. But right now, we're almost set to let everyone use... Uh, uh, RT, RTMP, yeah, so that's like where you can plug in with uh, Streamlabs, a StreamYard, a OBS, and you can create different looking streams. Like, unlike right now, it's just with a phone, like, but on Instagram, Instagram, right? Yeah. You can't, well, you can actually plug in OBS into Instagram live, but it's through another thing called Yellow Duck. It's a different, uh, it's some kind of workaround. But right now, Kumu is kind of like Instagram where you can just really like co-host uh, within the app. But like I said, uh, we're very close to releasing this to everyone. So that means gaming will be there. I see. I see. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Maybe a little, a little spoiler for, especially for the Kumu, um, uh, streamers for lack of a better term. Yeah, I'm not sure. So, I'm not sure I'm supposed to say that. Oops. <laughs> yeah. Well, exclusive hashtag PWG live exclusive right now, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> You're going to see it on the replay in three to two, three weeks. I don't, I'm not even sure. Shit. Uh, anyway, um, let me, uh, let's try to shift gears a bit. Well, actually, let's stay on the, the business aspect of, or like you being sure. behind the screen. Um, so may I ask, from on-screen VJ to off-screen VP and occasional producer for events, how did the hunger to climb the corporate ladder came about? Wow. Uh... I think what happened was um, money. <laughs> I, I think also, okay, so uh, for being a person on TV, you know, the, the, if you don't shift, if you don't change uh, if you, with the times evolve, then you're going to get passed up. So as an MTV VJ, I was good there for 
eight, nine years, but mm -hmm. there comes a time where I'm just not in their demographic anymore and I'm moving out and you know, I'm 35 or something. I'm not 35 anymore, but at 35, I was kind of moving out of their demographic. At uh, GMA, I was hosting a show for millennials and I was like this older guy there, though most of the artists also were my age at the same time. But you, I I'm not a good actor. I'm not uh, a Tagalog host. So you have to shift. So I, I ended up shifting into things that I w was good at. So the drive was there to still compete and be very good at what I do. I consider myself uh, one of the top end hosts. Um, I, I, I mean, absolutely no. I'm not being. No, I'm true. sorry. I'm that's not. Being no, that's so humble here. But I, I do yeah. consider myself. Um, if you're going to list like top ten, there, top ten, I'm in that. And so. It was a, it was a, and I'm competitive about that. I'd love to say I'm number one, but I'm not. Um, I'll be honest about that one. I don't think I am number one, but uh, there's a competitive drive behind that and like be shifting into business, any business, whether it's uh, just starting your own business, whether it's taking a job or being an, an or a, a, v, a VP somewhere or just starting, like if you, you should strive to like just to be the best or be the best that you can. Absolutely, and absolutely, and it actually, question, you, you, uh, from 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 what the people see, like on screen, it's crazy that you're really serious about your career goals. But when you when when you show it on TV, you make it look fun and easy, man. Which is not really the case most of the time. That's, that's, uh, that's credit to you. Man. I'm 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 very lucky to work with a bunch of really fun people, and my jobs have always been pretty fun. And I mean, there is a time where you have to be serious and there's a time where you don't have to be so serious. Uh, and there's just, a, there's also ways that you can get your point across without being negative or mean. And you, know, you can joke about it and make people uh, understand what you're trying to say. Like, let's say if you have to scold someone or correct someone, there's a way that you can do it without them feeling bad about themselves. Absolutely. And that's always a challenge. And I feel like that's the, that's the road you always choose to take. And, you know, that's... That's a different kind of discipline. Or, or I just kind of have fun because I don't know what I'm doing sometimes. So, <laughs> it's, uh, improv every time. Yep. <laughs> All right. Thank you for sharing that, Casey. Okay. Um, move, shifting. Well, you touched on the MTV. I have an MTV question here. So, if you if you don't mind, can you please take us back? What uh, what was going through your head during your audition for the MTV VJ Hunt circa 1999? given that led you to be the first male MTV VJ here in the Philippines. Can you believe that was 20 years ago? Right, <laughs> two decades ago. How, how old are you? I am 25 right now. I was four when you were a VJ. <laughs> hey, hey, real talk, real talk. I remember uh, you as a VJ. I, well, I, I was there for freaking 10 years. So, yeah, I, I stopped when you were about 15. Um, <laughs> so, it was a pretty... So at that time, MTV was on Studio 23. So mm -hmm. the VJs at that time were Shannon. James uh, Wilson, Belinda. No, no, no. So Belinda was with me. It was Francis M. So essentially, I kind of took over for Francis M. When MTV shifted um, to get out of ABS and Studio 23 to become MTV. Um, which then birthed Mix, which then eventually <laughs> took us out. Um, so it was, uh, I was fresh in the Philippines. I'd been here for a couple months long. Um, I still had hair. I was maybe 60, 50 pounds, 40 pounds lighter. Um, <laughs> did not understand any of the language at all. Um, I was say my, my mom was born in the States, uh, so she didn't mm. understand it either. So, uh, and it was, a, it was a difficult, it was Mark Nelson, because it, it was a whole bunch, it was a competition. It was Mark Nelson, it was Belinda, it was Mo Twister. We were all together in the same batch. And so, yeah, I really had no clue what I was doing, but whatever I was doing seemed to work. So I just continued to do it and do it and do it. And then sent, finally we won in Malate, nun time nian, Malate was hot. As in, it was really cool. I That's the publisher on back in the days, right? <laughs> yeah, it was so cool. That's what like, rave parties and trance music and Abby I, G's I, and stupid, I can't imagine that like, now happening. Weird. <laughs> no, you you weren't there. Uh, 
Yeah, so the power went out the night of the finals, and we were all crazy. And so we were lucky that two people won. It was me and Belinda, and we were the very we were the first MTV Philippines VJs. Though I'm just a correction because MTV did exist, but it was not MTV Philippines. It was it was a different version. That's that's where uh, Francis M and and those other guys were. I see. I I didn't even know about that part. Like I didn't know M uh, ABS UBN at one point. Own rights, sort of, to MTV. Yeah, to, MTV uh, was uh, block timed on Studio Twenty Three, and so um, in '99, MTV decided that they want to start their own twenty-four hour channel. And uh, Sky Cable, obviously, is one of is a partner or is ABS-CBN. So when Sky Cable gave us our frequency, they put us at freaking forty-one at the end of the dial because they were creating mix at the mm -hmm. same time. So mix just, you know, MTV was gone, but mix went in right away. So there was no lapse of music. They pro people probably thought that mix was MTV, and then um, that's when Sila Luis and they all started. And then um, that's when they put the lyrics on the screen, and that was <laughs> genius for them because it it worked, and they're still here. Absolutely, absolutely, man. Like well, that, that's that's me being mind blown. I. I legit didn't know about that one and i didn't show up in the research too <laughs> but thank you it's, it's, it's awesome to hear it from you and someone who actually experienced being a part of it you know being one of the ogs for lack of a better term oh, not the original grandpa like what you said in a different I don't know, different uh, guessing <laughs> but like you know original gangster sort of not really gangster but like you know. anyway uh shifting gears a bit um let's get to the wrestling question before we forget so if i may ask and for everyone's uh Everyone's benefit, for lack of a better term. Um, how did you end up joining the semi-main event of Revolution X 2016? Also, can you please share to us the preparation you did for this event? Because, man, again, people were calling you Cesaro because, it, you, dang, dude, you're jacked. I, I don't know if you really want to know. Okay, no, no, it's, it's no. pretty funny. <laughs> it's pretty funny. That <laughs> night was like, uh, that night for me was super, super awesome. So, um, I was working on, on Fox Sports uh, on a show called The Goat, and uh, you guys, uh, I think, just struck a deal with Fox as well. So you were, uh, what were you guys doing? Oh no, no, Stan had a show on Fox. I forgot mm. wrestling, wrestling gods. gods. Sure. Yes, and so as a cross promo thing, we hooked up and we decided to have a what is it? You quit your job match or something like that. So Stan, Stan stormed into our set and he was talking shit. And, you know, they're like, do you want to wrestle? I was like, yeah, let's do this. And then we we wrestled. I didn't prepare anything. Um, I was already this meathead kind of heavy lifting person. But, like, during the match and the preparation as in the day of the match. Oh, okay. I, Old school, huh? <laughs> On the day of no, the show. <laughs> I, no, I, sh I showed. I did everything. I did all the stuff that you guys were supposed to do. Uh, I'm not, I won't say what that is, but like I did all that stuff. Um, it didn't go as planned during the match because really? I, well, because you guys are, are, are great at what you do. You, um, and for a person like myself to come in there and just think that I can ad lib in that world, because there is a, there is ad libbing in what you do because um, without saying too much, uh, I mean, without saying too much, like there's a sense of, I mean, you guys know where you're at at all times, right? And you have if to, something you have doesn't to. happen in the right area, it doesn't mean that it, it that things don't change. You just have to find the right place to do it, right? So exactly. me, I, I was at this one place and I was waiting for something to happen at this one place because we're at, there. Uh, my partner said, this is where it's going to happen. And it happened somewhere else. And so I missed the whole thing. And I thought, wait. <clears throat> so I kept trying to move everyone over to the, <laughs> to the area. The right angle. Right, right. It's supposed to be in this corner, but it was in the other corner. So I was all screwed up. But you, you just don't do that. You just go. Like, the place just moves. And you just, the whole area is safe for you guys. I mean, unless you're jumping off the top rope, you need to be near a top rope. So... Uh, I was wasted. I was also heavily drunk. I was <laughs> yeah. extremely drunk. 
As I, 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 I kind of remember it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just trash. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I was just watching a lot of like Macho Man videos, and and or the I just watched the wrestler where, and and Hulk Hogan. In my time, this is where these guys they were they were probably drunk most of the time, if not more. <laughs> And so, yeah. and then none of you guys were drinking. You guys are like, like really professional about your jobs. And, <laughs> and I'm sure that there's like a rule against it. And here I am, your guest, and I'm just, just hammering, level, <laughs> just going for it. I bet you guys probably thought this is a really bad idea. Really bad idea. No, I mean, like we, we do it, but after the show. <laughs> oh, no, I did. Through <laughs> the start all the way through. Out there, brother. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Shout, shout out to John Sebastian. He was my partner. Um, I, I, I didn't even I didn't even talk with my own partner. We just like because Stan said I got to be the heel, right? So be the heel. Uh, and first, of all, I didn't even know what a heel was. I was like, what? A what? The villain. I was like, okay, yeah, 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 I'll be the villain. Um, so that's also why I was drinking because I I I wanted to be as vicious as possible, and I'm pretty sure I was. I was overly vicious because I was saying really, really, really bad things. So bad <laughs> that, uh, so bad that Stan, after he was like, "Hey, um, I don't think we're gonna air all of that stuff on the Fox <laughs> show because <laughs> it was so bad." But I think my job as a as my job as a uh, villain it worked because you know, I was yelling at I was yelling at the crowd. I was it was it was really fun. And and the thing is your audience is smart. So um they know exactly what is happening. They know um uh how much of it is entertainment and how much of it like I like there was me and Stan really hit each other. Um because I said, I don't know how to punch, or I just punch. Like, I will punch. Like, I don't know any other way. Uh, so I'm sorry, but I'm just going to just gonna so hit you. That explains, like, that explains yeah. the really big callback, hot potato. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I didn't even hit him. Cool. Yeah. And like, I, I, so, so. I don't know. If you're, are you going to ask me a question about that, or you want me to continue to talk? Oh no! Please, please, by all means, man. Please, floor is yours. So, so, all right. There was a part there where I was supposed to meet Stan on the side, and I was supposed to uh, slap him. And again, I told Stan. I said, "Hey, man, I know you guys are professionals. You you know what you're doing. Um, I just, I just." can't I don't I'm just gonna hit you and he was like what I was like yeah I'm just gonna hit you he was like oh okay you know he was a gamer he was like yeah yeah just do whatever you got to do because like he, his heart was behind this match and obviously we were there to uh to put on a, a good show so yeah. so Stan there he was Stan popped up and I was again I was drunk my adrenaline was flying uh you know, I was I was in I was in it right. I was yelling at everybody. I was an asshole. I was a villain. I was I was just egging the crowd on. Um, I was trying to take Stan's job right. Right. And so right. Stan popped up and I went, bam! And I hit him. And I didn't hit him even right. I hit him with like this, like here, here, here yeah, near knocked, the knocked, yeah, yeah. yeah, knocked his glasses clear off his head. He and and it it was a solid hit, right? Um, I think I swung, obviously I swung too hard that he wasn't able to catch it and, and kind of go with it. So probably because he didn't know I was going to hit him. And then, and then so as he flew, um, a, a kick came in to get me. But as soon as like I was going down, I was looking at um, Stan. I was like, oh, my God, oh, my God, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? I was laying <laughs> on the ground. I was like, are you okay? Are you okay? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It was so funny, but he was like, it's okay, it's okay. Like, he couldn't find his glasses when I was down here. It was a good time. It was a good time. And then I dropped the mic on his head. It was an accident. Well, you know, you know, at the end, so yeah. at the end, at the end, I, I, at the end, I was going to drop the mic, and I was like, that's right. And, you know, the bitch, and then drop the mic. And I dropped it on him. And I, think, and I didn't even see it. Really? After we played yeah. the video, I didn't see that part. I have the video. I was, I can't show it right now, but yeah, it's there. It's on the, it's on the Fox YouTube uh, channel. Really? I was so watching I, that yesterday. But like, 
Yeah, I dropped it right on him. And those microphones aren't light, right? No. It's not worth it. It can be. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I really left hating myself. I was like, God, I was such a jerk. But it was so much fun. And I'd probably do it. I'd do it the same. It was so good. I think everybody kind of liked it. Or everyone was afraid to say that they didn't like it. Then uh, Senor to Jay Del Ashley, my tiny partner, was saying it was after the low blow, I believe. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so like, but it's a good thing you control the low blow, man. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I did no, that either. I think, I think, well, I think I aimed, uh, I didn't aim for his nether region. I aimed for his belly button so that I knew that if I hit the, the him, China, right? Yeah, the China yeah. low blow. The China yeah. low blow. Right, right. All right, man. Awesome. I, I didn't know what at least after all these years, four years later, we finally, we finally know, well, Mr. C, if you're listening right now, if you're watching this, it's an accident, bro. But you know what, Casey, what's crazy? After that hit, I feel like that, that turned his world upside down. And you know what? They're ruling PWR right now. He's not general manager, but him and Chris Panzer, the same dudes you face, yeah. they're the bad guys now. Are and they? Really, uh, Ch Peter Bear Chap and Chris Panzer right there now. There he is. Like, Stan's here right now. Stan is right there. And Scratch Mark, what's up, guys? Stan is there. Uh, we just, did you hear the story? He, he's like, I don't need to hear the story. I was there. Stan, by the way, also uh, works at my former radio station, 89.1, with, uh, and, and Scratch Mark used to work there as well. So, so Stan, uh, remember when I said, um, bro, I, I don't know how to hit, so I'm just going to hit you. And he was like, sure. And then I did. I hit him hard. And you know what, to your, to, to your guys' credit, both of you guys, if that, if that didn't connect the way it connected, I mean, like, of course, it could have been more controlled, given, but, like, if that didn't connect with that impact, with that smack, oh, yeah. the story or the reaction of the crowd wouldn't have been the same. When you think I'm about it, because it was after that smack, then the kick right after, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, well, the, and in fairness, the kick got me too. So, like, I, because I, again, like, you guys are good at what you do. Um, your timing is a lot better than mine. So the kick, it might be a, a little revenge because I got a bloody lip from the kick. Oh, but that's probably my fault because I didn't. I just there was a freaking boot coming at my face, and I just waited for it. I didn't move. I just like. Mm. That's 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 the receipt we talk about, quote unquote. A, a lot of terms, like no, but like yeah, that's we call the receipt. But hey, that wasn't intentional. Like protect yourself. That's also the rule there. But yeah, uh, again, uh, before, I was drunk, so. <laughs> but like, but yeah, before I forget, actually, uh, I just remember and just to your credit again. Um, not a lot of people know I was in that shoot when you guys were shooting to do the build up. I was there actually. Oh, so you stormed the I, set. On the set, it's on the there. set of the goat. In one of the uh, sports bars in well near Market Market or the other side, but yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Old that bar. One. yeah. That one. I I was Wait, in that shoot and like to you and you in in like on behalf of PWR on behalf of the boys and girls of PWR. Man, we appreciate what you did. It's like you are very respectful of how would you say the rule for lack of a better term of pro wrestling and you were you were protective at the same time whenever we were about to do a skit in the meeting for fox on tv so man we appreciate that i don't know if you even remember doing that but like i, I saw that you actually cared for it so well it's a i'm a, fa I'm a nobody, fan uh, I'm, a, you know. I'm a fan so i i mean the, i growing up i've always i always wanted to be a, a wrestler so i yelled there, at him i said oh wait where's that light and then i Bonk. And then it, it landed on Stan. Uh, I remember walking off, and I was like, "Oh man, that was that was pretty mean. That was that was that was over. Like that wasn't part of it." So sorry, Stan. Yeah. At least uh, that's that's the uh, you buried the hatchet here virtually. So <laughs> scratch know. Mark said that Stan C is also a very big fan of Riley Reed. She's got a squirt gun. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. You know what? I have to be honest. I don't even know who Riley Reed is. Look it up right now. Do you have a computer okay. in front of you? I'll look him up. I'll look him up. Yeah, but yeah. Look him up. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you, Casey, for sharing that story, man. Uh, shifting gears a bit one more time before we go to that segment that we have prepared for you. Uh, let's go for this one, man. Just
uh, this is a simple question. What's your favorite tattoo among the tattoos that you have right now? And what's the meaning of it to you, if we may ask? Sorry, what's my favorite tattoo and what does it mean to me? Yeah, yeah, that one. Mm, they're all bad. Uh, I guess my least favorite would be... Um, uh, I kind of like my arms a bit. I like mm. this this stone uh, sun. This is the three stars in the sun. So this is a stupid star thing, right? They were they're like, oh my god, it's either, it was like either that or a freaking barbed wire tattoo. Or this is like <laughs> who I think I am, crazy town. And so um, we try to fix it by making it three stars in the sun. So like very very pinoy. This right here is my uh, Miller Garabato. Garabato is my uh, mom's last name, my family last name here. I like this one is also Freedom. I was um, I was free. This one is Bonifacio. Oh gosh, this is Bonifacio. Okay, look at this is this is oh, look wow. at it's Palpak. Anyun, fist, <laughs> foot. <I'm> a, <laughs> I don't know what it is. He's like a he's missing a foot or something. Went down um, so, the ground. Yeah, uh, need a mark. <laughs> yeah, he's he's, you know, he's got a fist foot. Anyway, so I mean, I, I kind of like the arm ones. The the ones on my back are pretty stupid. They're very, you know, it's like says my name. It doesn't even it's like Casey. It doesn't say Miller. But like the most meaningful out of every, of, of, you know, for you, if we may ask. Um, if you can share, at, you know, if you don't, it's okay. The most meaningful, I'm going to have to say, uh, oh, oh, okay. So I got this. Hmm. This, can you see it? Yeah, is it the torch? Yeah, so that's, uh, I got that in Survivor. Um, they said, who will get a, a tattoo? If you get a tattoo, you get immunity. And I'm like, I'll, totally, I'll do it. So they said, you can pick where you get it. Um, but this is the tattoo. So I was like, here, put, put on my arm. So, and it get, and it got me immunity, but eventually I got out anyways. Bastards. They cheated by the way. <laughs> Suckers. They, they, they did. That's why they don't, that's why Survivor's not on the Philippine TV anymore. <laughs> yeah. it's karma. True. You got the karma. <laughs> it's true. That's true. They lost the franchise because of that. Ah, oh, dude, man. Well, Okay, uh, man, thank you, Casey. All right, uh, so we have, as we wind down um, uh, a bit for the questions, we have this segment called the Shoot Your Shot segment, wherein I use the magic of the iPhone to show photos of you, or at least photos you posted right on my background. But one big disclaimer, because these past three weeks, the, this segment has been screwing up, but I have a backup. But just in case, just in case the volume uh, just cancels, I'm gonna make a new live. And if you're still available, please rejoin the okay. live. Okay. Right. Okay. So wait, 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 wait. So what are you gonna try to do? You're gonna try to play it. I'm gonna show a photo. Uh, then, uh, sorry, yeah, I forgot to explain that part. I'm gonna show a photo and please uh, tell a shoot story or in the wrestling biz, just the, the, the true story behind that photo. Okay. Are you Good ready? Luck. So you're trying to you're trying to are you trying to hack Instagram with some type of technology? Oh no no man, this is a iPhone feature, bro. <laughs> iPhone feature. Okay, let's see. Yeah, but it'll hopefully it works. Damn it, three weeks in a row it crashed. Three weeks in a row. Why do you keep right. doing it? No, it's it's my segment. It worked first two weeks, <laughs> but, man. So I don't know. But three I in a row. Just in case. <laughs> okay, okay. You, know, right, what, you know what's you know what's funny because every single Friday, every Friday on on Quiz Mojo, on the show that I host. Every Friday when it's me and it's a big money game, something happens with the internet. So almost three Fridays in a row, it, uh, it crashed or something like that. And we're giving big money. Luckily, yesterday, we finally made it through one. So I have uh, high hopes for this tonight. Thank you. Thank you so much. Man, uh, if you Ken, do it, Ken, it Ken, worked, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. This is the fourth week we're going to do it now. And three weeks <laughs> in a row, it messed up. So tonight... Don't fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> Instagram. Listen, okay. Instagram. Freaking A, gotcha. man. All right. All right, Mr. Casey Montero, you ready, sir? All right. Photo 
number one. What's your shoot story on this? Oh wow, can't find a photo <laughs> on this post. So basically, it says, "Here's oh me in a God. bikini." Oh yeah, I'm also like giving away an iPhone 11. Don't fall for it. We sell me get an iPhone, but you won't. Please, if can you please enlighten? Don't us? you see? Don't you see all of the celebrities? Like they'll they'll post a photo, and it's usually it's only girls that I've seen. They'll post a photo in a bikini and like all oh, hot and sexy, and then you swipe right, and it's iPhone 11 giveaway. Like that's the most clickest bait I've ever seen in my life. And it's such a scam because these iPhone giveaways, they're called giveaway accounts. Basically, they build the numbers really high and then they sell the account to someone. So it's a trick, though the celebrity might get the iPhone because that's why they're posting. I'm not sure if people actually win iPhones, but at the end of the day, they sell that account to someone. And it's just it's so ugh, everyone's doing it right now. And I feel that they're all stupid, like they're all like, it's such a scammy thing, and it looks scammy, but, like, look at how many people are falling for it. Oh. Absolutely. And, man, thank but you. If you're, if you're listening, I'd like an iPhone 11, so I'm waiting to post in my bikini as well. So, I mean, I, I'm down. I'm down. <laughs> We're already here. We're already. <laughs> so, you know, if they can hear us. But, man, Casey, thank you for being a celebrity. So, see, everyone for the viewers, not every celebrity That's is it? camera. You know? That's it? No, wait, that's, that's, not that's, that's not it, it's not oh, it. Oh, okay, okay, it's working, it's working, okay, okay. I'm searching, okay. I'm searching. Because uh, I'm super ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're yeah, far yeah. away from each other, man. Uh, how about shoot story of this one, Casey? Oh, man, that was a long time ago when I actually did work out. I was taking all of that. Oh, shit, look at that. There's like two creatines. Yeah, yeah that was when Wayne I was... from Factory, if I remember correctly. Yeah, from Wave Factory. That's when they were supporting me. They were giving me all of that stuff. That's that's around, I wouldn't say around the time, but when I was wrestling with you guys, I was uh, 230 pounds. Like now I'm only 200 pounds. So it's like a, a lot of muscle, a lot of protein, a lot of other crap. Um, yeah. But was that that's, a choice or like because that was because of that was an endorsement or... No, that was like a, the, that the was body a choice. change. I started I the body change was uh, was by choice, and I started to get bigger, and I started to see muscles. And then when you see that, you want to keep on getting bigger. It got to the point where I was too big, where I couldn't take my shirt off, uh, like I couldn't reach, I couldn't reach my back. Um, and then I did a movie role where, sorry, I started a TV show where they needed me to be that big. So then I just kind of stayed that big. But when I started Un Provinciano last year. I, I didn't have time to work out, and so uh, until now, now I'm this little, this skinny, fat, skinny, fat guy, dad bod guy. But trust me, I'll be back. Absolutely, if you were able to do it like three years, two years ago, four years ago, yeah, yeah, and yeah. and you're skinny, Casey. Are you serious, bro? I'm skinny, man. Uh, I'm skinny know, for me. I'm skinny yeah, for me. Yeah, Casey. <laughs> like you're not skinny. <laughs> I'm skinny for. I'm like bone. six you're two. Bone. 200, that's it. Before I was uh, 6'2", 230. Crap, you know, I, I don't know. If for someone like me who's 5'5", five, five, if I could, I'll look like a freaking troll, bro. Walking troll. Well, if, if, I, if, you, <laughs> yeah, if you were way, if you weighed 230, you'd look like a, yeah, you would look like a tree stump. <laughs> yeah, and I, I'm not going to plan on doing that. I'd be fast. Anyway, thank you for sharing that story, Casey. Uh, shoot story on this one. Ah, oh, damn it. It covered Cesaro. It covered ah, Cesaro. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> there you go. So, so, what's his name again? Ces Cesaro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, shoot, that was the time I met him and Big Show. Mm -hmm. That was when, was that the only time they came here or the first time they came here at the WWE? 2016. Uh, not okay, the only so... time. That was around third like if we count the 1995 one, that's the third time, the third or fourth time they went here in the Philippines. Okay, so uh, it was him, Big Show, that I met for the press con, and so I, I told him I was like, man, everybody keeps calling me you, um, and he was like, he was like, okay, and so then I just said, can I can I get a photo? And you know the thing is, like, I was still my big size he wasn't bigger than me he like 
me and him were about the same size. Now, the Big Show, on the other hand, he was massively bigger than me. But there's a photo also of the Big Show that I posted. And you can yeah. see so I'm... This one. Yeah, yeah. Covered. So you can see I'm pretty thick there. Oh, look, it looks like your head is on my body. Yeah, look at you. That's what you look <laughs> when you're 6'2", six, six two, 230. Hopefully, hopefully. Can I still grow? 25? I don't know. I think you <laughs> but can. sorry, the shoe store, sorry. You can grow wide. <laughs> grow well, that wide. was it. So I was just like, uh, we, got, we got to get a photo of this. The, uh, the PWR guys are going to get a kick, a kick out of it. And everybody who was screaming um, that I look like him, let's just do this. He thought it was awesome. funny. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that, Casey. But okay, second to the last photo, you and Joe Coy. So another funny story. Uh, this was, shoot, was it 2015 or something? 2014, from what I searched. On 14. On so I hosted, a, I hosted a fundraiser in the U.S. That was in L.A. And so Joe Coy wasn't even big yet. He was just hosting yeah. on... Uh, Chelsea lately, so he was just on like this cable TV show. I think he was kind of popular, not like he is today. Um, so I asked him, I was like, "Hey man, hey Joe I was like, "Hey, let's start a, a rap group. Like we can be called the Cal Bros, right? Get it? We're Calbo and we're Bros, like Cal Bros, right?" And he was like, "Ah, uh, yeah, okay." And so the funny thing about Joe Koy is he went to the same, basically the same high school as I did in the same city. Um, in a very, very small city in the States, this place called Seattle, Seattle right? Yeah, yeah, south of Seattle, about about 40 minutes. And this armpit of a city, like, it's, it's, it's so small, such a, like, no one else comes from this place. So I, I was in his DMs for many, many months, like, hey, Joe Coy, it's me, Casey, we met in 2015, what's up, blah, 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 because I was trying to give him a business deal. I tried to sign him up to a... Uh, an insurance company was going to pay him uh, $300,000 to do a couple oh. of videos, which he didn't, he declined at the time. Um, I don't know why. Anyway. So uh, yeah, I was, I was super stalker. I was sliding in his DM. He was scene zoning me for the longest time. And then his recent trip out here, we finally met again and I got to talk to him and he was like, Oh, that was you. I didn't know. And so then we're cool now. And he invited me to his show and stuff like that. But yeah, funny, funny guy. Um, uh, he's someone I'd love to have a beer with. Yeah. And that's people, all, all, people also say that I look like him. You know, what's for stupid. Like I, I, just because you're bald, mm. that's what they say. It just be like, I'm bald. So I look like any bald person. I'm like, <sighs> I don't. Not the case. Cause like, since when was the hairstyle for lack of a better term? Um, the, 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 the line for lack of a better term as well. Uh, or the basis when when you look like someone, it's supposed to be a face, not the yeah. style, not the hairstyle, yeah, man. Yeah, so yeah. like, yeah. I mean, I don't think we look alike. No, we got the but, three. Well, of us. maybe the Jokoi <laughs> now. Actually, I kind of see it. I kind of see it. maybe the Jokoi now. But hey, I don't, I'm not part of those people. I'm not part of those people, Casey. <laughs> you're 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 fucking this up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are. Moving right forward now. to the most important photo, last photo for the shoot your shot segment, please. Tell your shoot oh. story on this one. Holy crap. That's like in 2013 or something. What was that? I think. I think. A long, long time ago. Oh, that's, uh, <laughs> this is Justin Bieber hanging out on the balcony in my old place. Um, I think I just got a brand new phone or a brand new, uh, camera and I was trying to play with that. And yeah, so that's, uh, Justin Bieber out there hanging out on the balcony. And you you had you found an action figure of Justin Bieber or like were you a fan or you know? Oh my gosh, when did I get this? Oh, so when I first came back to the Philippines in 2010, I think I was I was gone for a couple of years. Um, I had this this um, what is this like a? I just started a radio station and there was a little gimmick I did, and the gimmick was if Justin Bieber follows me on Twitter, I'll dress in yeah. drag for a week. And so I had this whole little uh, thing where I was kind of, what do you call this? I was kind of like uh, obsessed with Justin Bieber because I was trying to, to do this whole little gimmick, this whole little fake thing. And so he eventually followed me on Twitter, but I had, 
I have a Justin Bieber wig now. I have Justin Bieber doll. I have Justin Bieber albums just because I was trying to play the part. So that's the, <laughs> that's the um, souvenir of my Justin Bieber face. All right. He's sexy, sexy little boy, though. Look at him. <laughs> the, the pole is right over there. Yeah. <laughs> Bought it down. It's yeah, open. Yeah. All right, Matt. Casey, thank you so much for being a part of the shoot, your shot segment of hashtag PWOG Live. And you are right. Although I did fuck up the segment, the, the segment didn't fuck up. Man, it worked. You. Nice. You know we, we just have to say that before we start the segment. How I know. Yeah, so it's full disclosure. Partner, you know, take note of that. Yeah. Take note of that. Just full yeah, disclosure. Just as long as you say, as long as you say this might fuck up, then everything will be fine. Yeah, because because we called out, you know, we called out Instagram like, yo, you can't fuck up right now. Everyone knows yeah. you're not supposed mm -hmm. to fuck up. Throw it out Thank there. You. Thank you. I'll take note of that. Thank you for that, Casey. But yeah, man, uh, in, in, in general, thank you so much for being in our very, very humble show and hashtag PWOG Live. Now, before we let you go, because we're trying to be respectful of your, of your time as well, you've been generous with your time. Uh, do you want to promote anything? Maybe your social media, maybe Kumu, uh, or maybe uh, you're, you're supporting a, a uh, campaign that's helping our frontliners uh, fight COVID-19 right now. So please. Yours. Um, we just uh, on Kumu, we just raised a million pesos to help um, not necessarily the frontliners. I think the frontliners have a lot of uh, people supporting them. And um, I would like I wanted to support the um, the families of the people who, uh, uh, let's say, the tricycle drivers, the guys that need the everyday the daily wagers. So we raised uh, about a million pesos and we um we already gave it, so I think we are going to be doing one again, and this is going to be for the mothers, uh, for for mothers who need essentials, maybe it's milk, uh, whatnot, and that's going to be happening in about I think uh, June 10. June 10, it's going to be it's going to be a gender reveal for Billy and Colleen's Billy Crawford and Colleen Garcia's baby, so it's going to be a fundraiser as well. So check that out. Also, yeah, just go to Kumu. I don't need to talk too much about it. So Kumu, Kumu, Kumu. Kumu, Kumu, down the Or basically at Kumu underscore P, or Kumu PH here on Instagram. Yes, right? yes, 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 <laughs> yes, 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 yes. All righty. Again, Casey, thank you so much, man. It's, uh, that was an awesome uh, 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 reveal, for lack of a better term, for the story of what happened during, during Revolution X. Career versus career. Well, not, you, were, you were in the match. You, were, you brought the, the brains and the, the, the brawn in the match. So, heck yeah, and brother. Thank you so much. I, and may you enjoy I, think the I, rest whole, I think I drank a whole bottle of rum. I'm not sure what it was, but yeah, you were actually offering uh, after the show, You're like, bro, you want to drink? Like, I'm good, man. I was, I was asking <laughs> everybody. I was asking everybody during the show. I was like, come on, let's drink. I thought this is how you do it, right? And you guys were like, no, this is our job. Like, don't do <laughs> yeah. that. Like, like, do you drink at your job? And I was like, yes, I do. <laughs> Drink you here too. Everybody could. You wish everybody yeah. could. Well, it was a great time. <laughs> hey, uh, thank you for having me here, Ken. And uh, good job. This was this was actually pretty fun. Um, and also to everybody who's tuned in right now, check. Uh, you guys can actually help the frontliners order your uh, what t-shirts. Yeah. So there's a there's a there's a uh, there's a link down there. Just go ahead and order them and help the frontliners, because this this thing that is happening right now it's not getting any better, and um, who knows what's going to happen. So our frontliners need as much help as as possible because they're it's a tiring job of what they're doing. So do what you can. Stay home. Absolutely. And on that note, Casey, please keep washing those hands. Please stay happy. Keep making those edits, man. You're, I forgot to say you're a king of those transition shots. Everything. Thank you. The thank punch, you. Thank you. Thank you. The, the hand movements, the slaps, everything, man. So keep being happy. Keep doing you. Consider doing a vlog, man. I tell you. It's, I know. You know, Actually. Like you could put, you know, you, know, you can uh, make uh, Will Dasovich run for his money. Look, <laughs> look, look, unfor look at this is because the times I've, I have set, I have a setup now so i'll be starting to stream and i'll have a vlog here very soon oh yes, my please. god i'm one of those guys i can't believe i'm, I'm saying that i have a freaking vlog but <laughs> i will have one the most reluctant vlogger on earth everything to keep us sane casey everything to keep us sane yeah. but yeah man <laughs> thank you man thank you uh 
Stay safe, brother. Thank you so All much. All right, man. Thank you, Thank you so much. Uh, you guys enjoy the rest of the night. Mabuhay makalbo. <laughs> Peace. Thank Peace. you, bro. Later. <laughs> All right, uh, that was Casey Montero. Thank you so much for being on the program. I'm just waiting for the Senorito Jake De Leon so we can close the program properly. He was so cool, man. Don't you guys think? Smash that heart button. You know, message him. Follow Kumu PH on Instagram, maybe even on Twitter. Check out his stuff, everything he's been doing, man. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I was waiting for the Senorito Jake De Leon to rejoin so we can close this episode because. We still have one more hashtag PWOG live tonight, numero dos, at 9 p.m. on uh, Instagram.com slash Senorito JDL at 9 p.m. So there you go. And Senorito JDL is actually here as of the moment. I'm just waiting for the connect in three, uh, two, and uh, one. Senorito, please join us by all means. Whenever hey. you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great talk, man. That was a great talk. Actually, you can see how good of a host Casey was because he was kind of taking over it. <laughs> so, like, that was awesome, man. It was that a was breeze, awesome, man. man. It was a breeze. I really, do... <laughs> <laughs> I, I really do appreciate Casey coming on and for all he's done for PWR back in 2016. It really helped us, like, get to sort of like, like that main stage, like seeing him punch, slap Stan's lights out and then dropping a mic on Stan, giving him a low blow. Everything. If Stan's still here, Stan, thank you for taking all of that abuse to help PWR get to the next level and the Casey as well. Like he, he's a guy, he's a wrestling fan and it's amazing. To, like, it's not, it's not amazing. It's like, it's how it's just really cool that he respects like the, the unspoken rules of wrestling. And yeah, that was a great talk, man. And you had some great questions and those are some funny pictures. I have to say. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. And again, I can't stress enough how he protected the wrestling business at least PWR at the same time. During that meeting, and technically, we're, we're like revealing the wrestling business now, so like we just destroyed all the hard work. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying, hey, you gotta give, yeah, people that's their true. Due, and he, he's a celebrity that's that cares. True. Uh, so, like, today's John Cena Saturday, so I think this, this is gonna be your turn, right? This is gonna be your turn, all right? So, before we head into John Cena Saturday, though. Everyone, please, again, see the link down there. It's just to help our brave frontliners by ordering PWR Mabuhay Ang wrestling shirts. Uh, if you order them through ticketme.net, part of the proceeds will go to our brave frontliners fighting against COVID-19. Uh, next week, uh, as always, every week, uh, we have PWR Wrestling from Home on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, so watch out for that. The announcements are usually the day before who the guests are. Or like if you also watch the show up until the end, they also announce who the, the guests will be. On Wednesday for Fight Sport Manila, shout out to Fight Sport Manila. We have Cuatro, Chris Panzer, and Chino Ginto on to talk about PW Homecoming. So watch out for that. And of course, on May 31, 2020, it will be the release of PW Special Homecoming uh, pay per view. So again, everyone who's watching this and thinking that PW Homecoming is going to be free, no, it is not. Help us out a little bit and enjoy some good wrestling, some good old local Philippine wrestling. And yeah, Ken, do you have anything else to add? Uh, I just want to say thank you for everyone who joined tonight. I want to thank Instagram Live for not fucking up tonight. <laughs> We're gonna maybe it's out. maybe it's an international problem. We'll think about that next time. But like whenever you have like a local guest, it doesn't really count out. So we'll have <laughs> to think about that. Anyway, um, yeah, Ken, do you want to do the honors for the first hashtag John Cena Saturday tonight? Funny you should mention him, you because I won't mind at all. And here you go, hashtag John Cena Saturday. Word life. If you enjoy what you are doing, it has a better chance to bring you to where you want to be. And end of quote. Word life. I actually forgot if you have already used that. An alarm is going no, on my done. back. That, that that was pretty fresh. That that one's pretty fresh. So I have not used that one. <laughs> well, okay, I'll, I'll send it to you so you don't reuse it. <laughs> and we have 50, 49 seconds left. And I just want to say thank you to everyone again who joined the program. Big Left Shoe, thank you. I saw your comment earlier. Thank you so much for joining us tonight for the PSTAC PWOG live guesting of Casey Montero. But before I forget, everyone, we still have one more numero dos, one or two out of two of hashtag PWOG live happening on the Senorita JDL's IG live. Or, you know, hashtag PWOG live courtesy of Jake De Leon at 9 p.m. with the one and only Bebo Reyes from Angolin Last seen as Hector from Angolin Bimbo. 
Yeah, and then I'm very excited for that. I am ready to geek out about musical theater and wrestling with him. And yes, Ken, uh, what else do we have to say? Y'all can.